What's up guys? This is definitely the one of the worst advice I've ever seen on uh, just like in general. Okay, so I saw this on, I was on CS career questions and then I saw this and it's like you've been doing leak code wrong this whole entire time. Okay, so here's what this here's here's what this um this poster said. All right. Do not uh, solve any questions on your own. Okay, so he's saying it's a waste of time. So he's saying by, by solving anything on your own is a waste of time. Don't spend five minutes on a problem. Don't even spend five minutes on a problem. Okay, that, that I don't I don't understand like how how can you learn anything if you're just not even gonna look at the problem. And then here's what he says. Okay, so he says go on Grok in the coding interview. Yeah, that's what that's what people do. Right, well, you could use Grok in the coding interview. You could use Crack in the coding interview. Any of that. Then he's like pick a pattern, go to the lead code, search for the problems in that pattern. And then just go straight to the solution and don't even spend one second solving the problem. Understand the solution deeply and Google things you don't understand. Watch videos, discussion on lead code, see other things, understand deeply, move on to the problem, repeat. After you've done this for enough problems, you'll feel a light bulb going on in your head. And congrats, you're now, now you have know how to solve this problem. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think this is a good solution, okay? If you're not actually attempting to doing the problems themselves, you're not going to learn anything, right? It's so he's he, then he goes on saying because you aren't wasting time spending on the problem just one to three weeks, you have a deep understanding of the major patterns and common solutions. You will be able to recognize how to break these patterns out. No, no. Once you have done 300, 400 problems like this, no, 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 no. Okay. Here, here's the thing that I don't like about this post is that I was in the exact situation of what this guy did before where I've literally just went through, like, if you go on my Code Forces account, I literally did the exact same issue of what this guy was doing, okay? And what I was doing is I was literally just trying to go through, like, solved problems, just go through, like, 300. I, I, in fact, I think on Code Forces, I did, like, 753 problems, right? That means, like, I've attempted 753, and that's way more than 300, 400 problems like this, where I literally just went to the solution without trying to solve anything. And... You, you, and I didn't gain any ranking through, through, through this, okay? Like, I didn't improve at all. My understanding of problem solving, my understanding of data structures and algorithms did not improve by just going to the solution, okay? Because you have to struggle through a problem, okay? Like, during an interview, you actually have to learn how to struggle and get past the problem and figure out the problem on your own. Because what, what happens if someone else, what, if, what happens if they give another problem out that is different than Lee code? Right. Like it's like it's very similar to like the interview question on lead code, but it's like a problem you've never seen before. How would you be able to solve it? Right. You can't just go through 300 to 400 problems like this and then not just try to memorize the problems or memorize the patterns or whatever. Going through the company specific questions without actually attempting to solve the problem. OK, so I think this is a, like a terrible idea. OK, 300, 400 problems like this is a terrible idea. I literally did the exact issue like this, okay? So telling people to just go through th like 300 to 400 problems and just try, just like go to the solution and try to understand the, the the thought process is not a good idea, okay? Generally, what you try should try to do is actually try to attempt the problem yourself for like a few hours or maybe even a days or maybe even a week until you realize, oh, I, st I cannot solve it and then read line by line on the solution and how that works, and then try to solve it again. Okay, that's really the main key, key takeaway to how to solve these problems. Stuff like this, going through 300 to 400 problems like this, is not going to help you at all. So the fact that this this post actually makes me angry, okay, because it's like four, th this post got 4,738 uh, votes, right? And he's actually telling people to do the wrong idea, okay? Because if you just go through 300, 400 problems and not actually attempt anything, you're just going to get good at, like, memorizing, like, I don't know the solution, but without actually knowing how to use it. Okay. So th that's a big main issue of what I don't like about this post. Um, so in, in my opinion, what you should do is you should actually definitely go to the crowd crack in the coding interview. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going through that book currently, but, um, yeah, read the pattern and then try to attempt to solve like a medium, an easy medium, and then a hard based on like a company specific qu question, or just like try to solve them on your own first. And then look at the solution if you still cannot solve it after like hours or days or even a week, okay? And then try to go through the solution line by line, write out the algorithm in English, and then recode it up without looking at the solution. 
that's my best advice I could give to this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is just my thought takeaways on why this is like a really terrible idea. Great, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.